Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do give me a thumbs up, share my video, and leave a comment. I would love to hear what's on your mind. But this week I have been thinking about things to uh, save money. Um, one reason I started to make the um, sourdough bread, if you looked at my previous videos, is because, well number one, I've uh, always buy, bought Ezekiel bread. And when I started buying it, it was like $4 a loaf, and it went up to uh, $5, and now it's all the way up to $6 and something. And I said, that's just too much to pay for a loaf of bread, so I'm going to start trying to make it. And um, I chose the sourdough because when I would buy yeast, a lot of times I would use a little bit of it, and by the time I got to use it again, it wasn't any good. So uh, that's why I started doing the sourdough. And when you make the sourdough starter, you have a lot of discards. You have to take part of that solution every day that you feed it and discard it. And I hate to throw anything away. So I've been looking on the internet trying to find things that I could do with that discard. And one of the things I found was to make crackers. So that's what I've been working on this week. And I wanted to show you the outcome. Every week I'm trying something new and this week I'm going to try to make crackers out of my sourdough discard. So that's what I have in this bowl and I am going to season them up and I'm going to put them on a cookie sheet. Well here it is. I have spread it out on a cookie sheet, tried to keep it in a rectangle and I'm going to put it in the oven for 15 minutes halfway through. I'm going to take them out and I'm going to score them and then I'm going to put them back in. It's been seven minutes in the oven and I took them out to score them. And I just used this here little thing and I just went down to make little squares. I hope you can see them. Now I'm going to stick it back in for the rest of the time. Well, here's the end product. Last thing to do is give it a taste. Mm, these are very good. I will definitely be doing this again. Not as crispy as a regular cracker, but they are very good. Hmm. I think the next time I may leave them in a little longer. They are delicious. Give it a try. With all of that sourdough discard that you have. Curry soup. And the crackers I made this morning. I'm gonna go enjoy. Also, I have been sprouting a few things in my basement and I wanted to give you a little update into how that's going. Well, in the winter, I do my sprouts in the basement and I wanted to share it with you. Um, this is an experiment here. I put it in this tote and I just put regular soil in it and I planted lettuce on this side, which is doing pretty good. And I was trying to wait for them to get a little bit larger and I was going to put them in hydroponics, but I don't know. And this is some kale. I see they're getting a few leaves on them, but I did cut these all out and use them like microgreens because... They were laying all over. I don't know why. Uh, I had the light um, lower, so I, I mean higher, then I put it down here so the light wouldn't be as close. But these here are growing pretty good, but they're still kind of laid over if you can see down in there. So just an experiment to see how they do. Up here, I have the last of my sunflower sprouts. I have eaten quite a few of them and I'm going to be finishing these off very soon because they're getting kind of tall here. But, and down here I started a tray of broccoli sprouts. These have only been in here for about a day but I see a couple of them starting to sprout. Down in this pot I have some arugula growing and over here I planted bok chow. I've never done this before just giving it a try to see how they do. Looking pretty good so far. Now all I did was 
fill this jar up to about here with apples. You can see it's kind of floated up a little bit and put a fourth of a cup of sugar in there. Now you can just use peelings and cores. Well, this is the results of my vinegar. I let it sit for 30 days. I drained it and this is what I've gotten out of that bottle. I am very pleased. It has a nice flavor, very vinegary, and uh, I will definitely be doing this again. This is Lady P. Peace and love. I'm out.